Yeah. So, and I kind of want to hit on the State Farm thing. I'm sure you probably heard all about that. Actually, fill me in. I've heard about some other companies right now that are going through some changes. So, apparently, and I was told this in confidence, and then I, it came up, and I heard a bunch of other people talking about it, the exact same thing, and I was like, oh, well, I guess it's not really a top secret. <laughs> um, so, I guess... Um, a big red company has uh, decided, in all of their wisdom, <clears throat> and there's, I think, you know, we can talk a little bit about the cycle of how, why this happens in a minute. But basically, um, an adjuster that I know has been doing this for a few years um, said that they were working on a State Farm gig, and um, they State Farm cut all the IAs like on one day. They were just like, okay, we're done with you guys. Wrap up what you got and get out of here. No more new claims for you guys. And then through the grapevine, I hear on Facebook, um, on a, in a, heard, in a okay. group. I've heard about this. So. Yeah. So they're getting, they're trying to get rid of and stop using IAs as much. And they're going on a huge hiring spree for to bring staff people on. So that's the scuttlebutt on the street right now. You know, going on the, on the backside of hurricane season 2023. Um, so I'm curious, you know, if you heard that and what your thoughts were on staff so, jobs. So in my travels this year, I've come across a lot of um, IAs working State Farm. Um, one guy in particular I met that we were standing in the same RV park. He'd been there. He had been there for months before I got there and was still there when I left. Um, that's all he does is State Farm. That's he. Yeah. He's from Texas. He makes it back to Texas every few months just to stop in and say hi to his dogs and wife. And actually, didn't have a wife anymore, but <laughs> his kids. Um, yeah. And then, and he goes right back out. Uh, but he'd been in he'd been at one state for a long time. I don't want to say where it was because he. Uh, sure. Anyway, he was let go. Um, he was let go as well. And he's and that's all he's done. And he is in freak out mode right now about what's he going to do. Um, yeah. I, my phone has been blowing up um, with people calling me desk adjusters. They dumped a lot of independent desk adjusters as well. Um, one person, she's been continually deployed with State Farm as a desk adjuster uh, for over three years. And um, if one assignment would end, she just automatically rolled into another one. Uh, yeah. Now she's out and she hasn't worked in over a month. Um so it, it's real for people right now. And there's another big company. Well, at the same time, even though um, State Farm is doing this, there's another very large company out there who let go a lot of the staff that just dumped. I mean, literally dumped a, a big portion of their, 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 their staff. And a lot of those people are being affected right now. So I think some of those, are not, a lot of those people get absorbed by the big red company uh, pretty fast, pretty easy. And then another company this past week um, that I read about, and it's a lot of scuttlebutt that's on some of the Facebook groups, uh, they came in and cut 23, 2,400 people this past week, uh, all staff. So, oh, wow. So, okay. um, while at the same time, there's an IA firm that I I'm, that I'm know very well that they use, they have a lot of staff. They, they hire people on a, on a, uh, you know, as employees and put them on a salary plus a bonus type situation. Um, this week they cut every one of them and they're going to 100% IAs, you know, so it's. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's there's a lot of shuffling going around right now and it's crazy what's happening. I feel bad for those people that lost their jobs working for these companies, but at the same time, you know, everything is cyclical. You know, every company will go through these periods where they're going to lay people off. And then a short time later, they're hiring a bunch of people. Well, at the same time, some people are laying off, some people are hiring. It's, it's, you know, it sucks to lose your job, but at the same time, there's opportunities. And, and at the same time, it's the slow time of the year. Um, everything's slowing down. We didn't get a big hurricane so far this year. You know, nothing big's happened. And so this is whenever a lot of people are making their, their, their off season money and they're not getting it. And so um, it's, it's tough for a lot of adjusters and especially people that have been staff and they're thinking about becoming an IA, um, those guys are, you know, finding out there's no work. I mean, there is work, but it's the the people that have been around are getting most of the work right now. The, the people yeah. have proven themselves. 
as an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on comp shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Haig Education. And not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Haig Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage we can pay for and everything else. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HaigEducation.com. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 